I've been making money with content creation for the past four years and I can say that I'm quite happy with how much I make. I mean, I'll also show all of it in this video. And my aim with this video is to help fellow creators or anyone who wants to start creating content on social media on how you can make money with this. With more and more people starting to create content here on social media with brands, with big brands coming to these platforms. I mean, heck, even Cristiano Ronaldo started a YouTube channel and I don't know if he's gonna become a YouTuber or something. What I mean is that the value of content creation, the value of building a personal brand is quite high and will be very high in the next years. To be honest, you can earn a lot of money with these and that's basically what I would try to teach with my videos on this channel because this is something that I enjoy. When I picked up my phone and started recording videos and sharing them on YouTube 10 years ago, I did this because I loved this, I enjoyed this. After a while, when I saw that I could actually make money by doing this, that seemed pretty cool. Like the idea of doing something that I love, that I enjoy and make money doing this, I mean, who wouldn't want that? I worked for it and I can say that I succeeded and this is not my only channel if you're wondering like I only have 4,000 subscribers here this is not my only channel I mean of course I'm still at the beginning of my journey I'm still 19 I will see a lot more than that but it is a great thing to earn my living by doing something that I love this video will also be helpful for those who feel and think the same as me without further ado let's move on to the methods our first method is YouTube ad revenue or we can also call it AdSense. This is the most common income method for creators. Like you reach 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time, and you join the YouTube Partner Program, and now you can monetize your content, there will be ads, and you will be making money. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people focus too much on this. Like if I get like 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time and I join the YouTube Partner Program, then I will be able to monetize my content. No, but you can actually start monetizing your content a lot sooner. I mean, I'm not saying like it's a bad way to make money, like it's a great way to make money, like you actually make money from the views that you get. But if this is your only way to make money, like it's your only source of income, that will cause you stress because like you will chase views. If you don't get views, you won't make money. And that's not what we want, right? Like we want money. So to make money, we need more views and so we will be like mentally chasing views and do content just for the views and as someone who has created content for many years like chasing views might seem fun but after a while like it's not it makes you start hating the thing that you do because you don't do the videos because you enjoy them you do them to get views and actually you can make a lot more money with the other methods like the adsense the ad revenue is one of the smallest income sources for most creators after watching this video you'll understand that especially after the method three like i can give you many examples because i have many channels on youtube some english some not some in different niches so i've seen many channels and how much money you can make with adsense i have this youtube channel this english one and it's about money so my rpm rate on this channel like how much money i make for each view like it's not for each view it's it's calculated by thousand views so i make around like nine to ten dollars for every thousand views that i get let's say nine dollars if i get hundred thousand views in one month that makes nine hundred dollars from adsense from ad revenue it's not a lot and hundred thousand views it might not be easy for many people for long form videos i'm not including shorts like shorts don't pay that much shorts pay like 10 11 cents per thousand views so you can calculate that this is the formula but i also have a channel again in the same niche as this channel but in turkish like that's turkish is my native language and in that channel i make like two dollars per thousand views even might be lower than that like one and a half dollars for every thousand views because language plays a big role on how much money you make from the content that you create and english is the highest one and turkish is not that high like in the list in that case let's say one and a half dollars if i get hundred thousand views on that channel that makes 150 dollars you see and i also have a technology channel in english and the rpm rate on that channel is four like three to four dollars so like it's again 100,000 views, 300, 400 dollars. And this is the difference like creating in different languages and in different niches like. And that's why you shouldn't only focus on AdSense. It might be a good way like you might still keep making money from that. You can pay bills with that, but it shouldn't be your main source of income. Now let's continue. Next up, we have affiliate marketing. Now affiliate marketing, in my opinion, is a pretty good way to make money as a content creator. And we can see it's like quite passive in my opinion now before giving more examples let me 
simply explain what affiliate marketing is in case you don't know. So affiliate marketing basically is that you have a product, you didn't make that product, it's not your product, it's a different brand's product, it's a different product, like someone else made it. Now you go to that brand's website, you join their affiliate program, if there is one, then they will give you a special link just for you. And when you share that link and people click that link and buy that product, you get a commission from that. So you make commissions by selling a different brand's product, basically. And this is a great way to make money as a creator because you might talk about a product like, I don't know, I might talk about this microphone, for example. And I might say, if you want to buy this microphone, the link is in the description. And that link can be an affiliate link. So when you got that link and buy that product from that link, the creator will make money. So basically, it's a win-win situation. Like if you're going to buy that product anyway, you just go and buy that product through that creator's link. So the creator that you know and want to support makes money as well. Now, I've done affiliate marketing for a, quite a long time. One of my biggest affiliate sources was like Gelato and Printify. Like they are both print on demand companies. And I've made videos about these platforms on my other YouTube channel. I, just, I might have done on this channel as well, but I don't remember. And when people went to these platforms with my link, they signed up, they started their store and they started selling products. So every time now they sell a product, I get a commission from that because basically these platforms make money from these sales and I brought those customers there. So they make money thanks to me. So they pay me a commission for that. And as long as these people keep selling products, as long as they keep making money, I make money too. I also did affiliate marketing for a crypto platform, Binance. So when people went to this platform, they signed up with my link and they started buying and selling cryptos. I make a commission, I get a commission from each transaction that's been made. So every time someone, for example, buys Bitcoin, I get a commission from that. Every time they sell that Bitcoin, I still get a commission from that, from each transaction basically. And I've made thousands of dollars that way because thousands of people actually signed up with my link. And I keep making money from these affiliate programs to this day. I might have done that video a year ago, but they signed up with my link and every time they do a sale, they do a transaction, I keep making money and I don't do anything for that. Now you might think like, on your other YouTube channel, you have 100,000 subscribers, that's why you make money. Well, that's not true because you can make money even though if you don't have that many followers. Let me give you an example. I have a YouTube channel that I don't show my face and I don't even use my voice. I use AI for voiceovers. We run this channel with my friend. It's a faceless YouTube channel and it has like 1,500 subscribers and this month, it's September 2. So in August, that channel made $850 and the month prior to that, it made $900. And back then it was, it was like 1,000 subscribers, 1,300 subscribers, maybe some other. So a small channel like that can make almost $1,000 from YouTube with affiliate marketing. So you don't necessarily need a lot of followers to make money with affiliate marketing. Of course, if you have more followers, you will make more money. But even $1,000 a month just from affiliate marketing, like it wasn't $1,000 from affiliate marketing. It was like 700, 800 from affiliate marketing and a little bit of Google AdSense, YouTube AdSense. But you can still make a good amount of money with affiliate marketing, even if you don't have many followers. Now, if you're wondering how you're gonna do that, like how can you do affiliate marketing? I told you that you can go to each product, each brand's website and see if they have an affiliate program. If they don't have an affiliate program, you can go to like Amazon, which that's what we do on my other channel. We do videos, we mention products, and we then we go to Amazon, we join the Amazon's Associates program, it's their affiliate program. So we can take an affiliate link for every product that there is on Amazon. We put these products, these affiliate links of these products under the description, and whenever someone clicks that link, buy the sub product that we mentioned in the video, we get a commission. So you can go to Amazon for any product, pretty much everything, or you can go to a website like partnerstack.com or impact.com, which there you can filter and see all the brands that do have an affiliate program. You can sign up to these programs and take your affiliate link and do affiliate marketing, basically. Next up, we have brand deals and sponsorships. Now, brand deals is one of the biggest income sources for creators. Like, you can actually make so much money with brand deals. I can't give you specific numbers because like, you have contracts with these brands, but I can give you some numbers to understand. Like, previously, we talked about the ad revenue, like how much money you can make with the views that you get. Now, creators can make four to five times what they would have made with AdSense in one month with just one sponsorship, like with one video, like in one hand, you spend one month to make that money. And on the other hand, you make four to five times that money with just one video. So yeah, you can make a lot of money. Now, I also have international followers. So I'm going to say this, that if you create content in English and you target countries like United States, Australia, England, Germany, Netherlands, 
we can include this too. Because these countries are financially better, and the citizens of this country can spend more money, brands usually pay more money to channels that target these audiences. So brands pay more money if you basically create English videos. Now your niche depends too, but your language depends too too. Now again, I can't give you specific numbers, but so you can understand, not on this channel, but on my other channel, in one month, just from sponsorships, I'm not including AdSense, like the services that I offer, the digital products that I sell, or the affiliate marketing that I do, none of that. Just from sponsorships, in one month, I made $4,500 from that channel. Now this is pretty good like this money is pretty good now with it's nothing super crazy like I didn't make hundred thousand in one month because like nowadays I feel like everyone's making millions like social media makes us think like everyone makes millions like this guy at 15 years old he's making one million dollars per month yeah he might actually do that like that's possible I'm not saying he's not doing that but we have to realize that a lot of people that work ordinary jobs they spend a whole month to make that money and hey in some countries that's more than minimum wage from my country that's like five times more the minimum wage and i just made that money in one month just with sponsorships just because i talk about a brand in my videos like i'm pretty happy with everything that i have right now being able to do the thing that i love and making that much money but yeah basically you can make a lot of money with sponsorships and brand deals and it's a great way to make money but let me also tell you this don't do brand deals just for the money like i receive a lot of brand deal offers but i refuse most of them because i ask this to myself like when a brand comes to me i ask to myself like i do i know this brand no well then i do my research would i actually use this brand is it well known is it safe i also do brand deals on the brands that i would actually use myself or i'm actually using and find like trustworthy because i don't want to do a brand deal that my audience wouldn't get something from like if it's not valuable for them i wouldn't do that because you have to think the long run like it's not like oh i did the brand deal i got the money and it's done no like your actions have consequences so if you do a brand deal just for the money and you don't even use the brand themselves like that thing that you promoted you don't even use that yourself and you don't even trust them like you just did it for the money your audience will understand that and they will lose trust in you they might even hate you for that so like you will lose your audience and you don't want to do that because that's how you make money like in the future if you don't have an audience if you lose them all if they hate you they won't buy from you your views will go down if your views go down your ad revenue goes down everything goes down you won't get that many brand deals too so like it's not you did the brand deal you got the money and you're done no you have to think the long run and you have to do only brand deals with the brands that you trust and you would actually use yourself that's at least what i do and in general brand deals is a great way to make money another income method is selling merch selling clothes basically you must have seen content creators doing this like they create their own products they mostly like t-shirts hoodies and etc they put their logos their brands or they type something on it and they sell that i think this is also a great way to make money especially if you have an audience that loves you which that's what we're doing here like we're creating content to build an audience it will be something that they'll probably like and they will they might even buy these products just to support you of course if you go and do this the traditional way like buy an inventory buy hundreds or thousands of products in advance so like you can send them when someone orders and for whatever reason let's say that the things didn't go as planned and you couldn't sell as much as you expected so what are you gonna do now you have all these extra products so not everyone may have that financial power or they might not want to take that risk for that you can use print on demand in other words you won't have to worry about stock because the products will be produced when someone places an order this means there won't be more products than orders and it doesn't require any capital because the product will be created once an order comes so like even though you pay these companies like you just pay, take a percentage from that but you first get paid and then you pay these companies to create that product that, that's an automation like it's a system like you don't do that much manually but you don't have to pay anything in advance and there is no risk of not selling now there are many print on demand companies out there that offer this service such as printify printful gelato and many others you can choose the one that fits the most your needs and you can start selling your own merch without having to worry about inventory or not being able to sell or shipping the products or producing the products you only do the design like you just basically put your design on these products from their websites and they handle the production and the shipping so you just 
design and market. Next up, we have selling digital products. Now, digital products are also a great way to make money and we can say that they are quite passive and usually free of charge because creating a digital product mostly most of the time doesn't require any money or at least not a lot. And once you create it, you don't have to do something else. Afterwards, you can sell the same digital product to many people like. It's not like a physical product where you need to reproduce a physical product for each customer. No, you send the same digital product, the digital file to everyone. So once you create it, you can see it's completely free afterwards and you don't have to deal with anything, no shipping, no inventory, no nothing. Of course, you might update the product from time to time, but that's up to you. Now, I also have digital products for both my English and Turkish audiences. And I can say that I made these digital products a long time ago, some of them even years ago. And to this day, I still receive orders. I still receive notifications on my phone that I have made sales and I don't do anything. I've made that system. It's an automation that once someone buys it, an email sends the product directly to the customer. So I don't have to do anything. I just get paid. And it is also quite scalable. So if you want to do something scalable, selling digital product is one of them because it doesn't require your time to make more money. Yes, of course, you do spend some time making the product but once you made it then scaling it it's all about like marketing it we're talking about content creation so you make content on social media and your videos can get millions of views like at the beginning you might do the product you might get only 10 sales a month but you keep making content you reach to millions of people and now you make thousands of sales per month but nothing has changed like the product is the same product you just market it better and you get more sales and that's scalable. Creating content is scalable. Now, what you can sell is up to you. Like I can't tell you specific, like you can do this because what you're gonna sell depends on what you create. It has to be something related to your content because you want to provide value with your products, your audience. So like if you're a video editor, for example, you can create lots, presets for video editing. If you're a fitness influencer, then you can do like diet program or how to get shredded program like a workout routine or something you get my point like what you're gonna sell depends on what you create but my suggestion to you is that if you create content which i'm guessing you do or you want to start creating content if you're watching this video create digital products and sell them it's so passive it's so scalable next up we have consulting if you have knowledge or experience in any field you can offer your knowledge and get paid for that like for example i know how to build a personal brand how to create content how to edit videos because i've done this for many years and i have knowledge i have the experience and i can sell that and you can do the same like if you have knowledge or experience on anything you can sell that, but you have to create content around that so you can reach to the customers that you want to attract, like basically. For example, if I want to help creators, I have to make videos for creators. If you want to help people how to invest in cryptos, you have to make videos around that, like about that. So like you can say in your videos, like I do consulting, like if you want to learn more about this, you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and I can help you with that and you can charge money for that. And you can't do that if you create content on something completely different. Like the audience on that content won't be interested in what you have to offer. So you have to create content around what you offer. And it doesn't require much of a manpower, we can say, because you just offer your knowledge. Like you just go on a one-on-one -on -one call, you do a meeting and you just answer the questions. Like they ask you questions, you answer them, you give them tips, you help them how to do that thing. Like you already have what's needed and if you don't you can work on that like let's say something that you enjoy for example let's say let's talk about me i love creating videos and creating content i love cameras i love lighting i love editing videos i knew that even when like i wasn't a professional at it i just enjoyed doing that so i kept working i kept working i kept learning and at the beginning i didn't offer any cons i still don't offer consulting because like it takes time for me like i don't and i'm introvert so like i don't like talking to people that much but anyway that's not the point i can offer consulting if i want to. but the thing is that i wasn't good at these things five years ago so i didn't offer consulting back then i just focused on myself and building that skill set and once i have it then I can offer. So if you don't have something to offer, then 
learn something and then offer. And the last method is providing your service and advertising the service you offer via social media and attracting customers. Now, this might sound a little bit like consulting, but it's not the same. Here, you offer a service. On consulting, you offer your knowledge, basically. Now, in my case, I think that I'm pretty good at video editing, so I offer this as a service and I have a client that I do video editing. And when I reached out to that customer, I also posted, like, shared my YouTube channel. Like, you can take a look, this, this is my editing style, these are my videos. Even though, like, no one said something about, like, oh, you, you are a YouTuber, you have that many subscribers or something like that. But I think that played a role as well, like, having a YouTube channel, having a following. That client thought, like, yo, this guy knows what he's doing like he has already built a youtube channel he knows how to edit videos right so i think that played a role too and that's what's good about being a content creator but that's what worked for me like you don't necessarily have to offer like video editing services you might offer lessons on how to play the guitar so you also need to post content related to what you offer i mean obviously right because like if you create gaming videos like valorant videos for example someone that plays Valorant might not be interested in learning how to play the guitar. But if you make videos about like playing the guitar, how to play the guitar, or like covers, people who watch your videos will be interested on how to play the guitar and they're more likely to buy your offer, like your service. And not only that, like you don't only attract customers, but your YouTube channel works the portfolio and as a source of trust, if that makes sense. Like when someone goes to your channel, they see like how good you're at this what they will be buying like if they buy your service what they will get and it's like some sort of trust like you give trust to the customer and your videos show the client that this guy knows what he's doing and this not only works on the people that come through your videos but if you go to someone and offer your service like i do this then you can also share your youtube channel on the side and they'll see that and again it's the same thing like it will give trust they will see what they will be getting so it's a plus but now there is also the issue of taxes since i often talk about money i always get these questions like do i have to pay taxes what about taxes yes if you are making money you have to pay taxes but don't let this tax process like scare you it's not something scary i mean at least not like this starting the process is not scary paying 40 percent of your money to taxes it is quite scary but it is what it is but of course i'm not advising you to commit tax fraud of course i'm not doing that go pay your taxes as a nice citizen and thank you for watching this video up to this point if you enjoyed the video drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more